Martin Harwood uh, from CNBC. Mr. Harwood, good to see you, sir. Hey, Chuck. So clarify that. He said he would amend his comments. I think one of the smoke comments, I think, was to me earlier this year. Is he amending it and saying there's more smoke or it's starting to clear up and he knows it's more than just smoke? What's he trying to say with all these sort of subtle hints? Well, I think he's trying to say that he's seen something that you and I would regard as fire without saying that word, because when I followed up and said, have you seen fire? He says, well, I don't want to prejudge. But he said he had been absolutely amazed by the number and the extent of the contacts between President Trump and Russians over the course of the campaign, a picture that's been filling out all year long, beginning with the Papadopoulos uh, issue earlier in the year, of course, the meeting with Donald Jr., uh, subsequent uh, contacts after that, WikiLeaks contacts with Donald Trump Jr., uh, and he is uh, 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 seems to believe that there is a lot more here than even he thought when this investigation started. And it seems the way you delved into this with him got into a lot of the financial, potential mm -hmm. financial connections. I want to play um, another excerpt here having to do with Deutsche Bank. And the reason is that Deutsche Bank, the only major financial institution, I think, really, that does business in this country that was still doing business with the Trump organization, but also had a lot of business with Russians. Here's what Senator Warner said to you. We have heard uh, you know, a host of rumors, and, and, and rumors oftentimes coming from the press, of uh, the president's activities because he wasn't able to be banked by many of the American banks of banking through Deutsche Bank, and that there were Russian dollars that were in some mirror trading and helping to, banks, to back some of those Deutsche Bank loans. Just from a plain counterintelligence standpoint, that would raise uh, set off a lot of alarm bells because of the fear of potentially being compromised or having undue influence. That is, John, that seemed like he's implying Deutsche Bank's involved with this and maybe it may be complicit, not just sort of a, a third party media, a third party just sort of uh, uh, in entity here. Yes, depending on how that mirroring process that he referred to uh, actually worked. And uh, I don't purport to know how that would work. Maybe Robert Mueller uh, has found that out. But this is important, Chuck, because uh, what uh, uh, Senator Warner has said is that, uh, you know, Trump, Trump has made the point that it would be a red line if he looked into my uh, business dealings. That's illegitimate. And some of his supporters are saying, no, no, they ought to shut uh, Mueller down if he's doing things that involve business. But Warner is saying these things are part and parcel of the entire investigation. He told me that uh, the uh, financial ties are critical elements of the dossier, the famous dossier, right. which he said has not been disproven. Uh, and so he said that he believes Mueller is looking in to those financial ties and that those are going to be an important part of the resolution to this matter. Does he get a sense of how far back he's gone on the finances in 2013 or does it go back all the way to 2008, the first time Donald Trump Jr. bragged about Russian money? Well, we know that uh, Donald Trump has had uh, went to Russia long before that. Uh, but uh, do when Donald Trump uh, indicated during the, the first decade of this century that uh, a disproportionate share of the Trump organization assets had come from Russia, uh, that is an indication that uh, mm -hmm. by that point, Donald Trump had a, a serious amount of financial um, uh, overlap. Uh, between right. Russians. And what uh, Mark Warner is saying is that se that sets the table for a potential quid pro quo or a, a dependence on Russians that uh, Vladimir Putin might hope to uh, be repaid someday. And, and right. uh, again, Mueller uh, is going to get to the bottom of that. And uh, Mark Warner told me that yeah. he thinks by the end, uh, by one year from now, Bob Mueller and the Senate investigation will both be done. Well, by one year from now, think about what you just said, John Harwood, by one year from now, which may mean all the way through most of the calendar year of 2018. Anyway, right. John Harwood, uh, if I don't see you, happy holidays, sir. Uh, and happy you too.